It's not every day that you wake up and look out your window and the very first thing that you see is a majestic view of some red rock canyons. You get outside with a cool breeze and the crisp morning mountain air and just the excitement of not knowing where this journey is going to take you. Beautiful morning. Let's go get some breakfast. We're at the coffee pot restaurant. According to Yelp, this place has some pretty good breakfast. So we're gonna go have some breakfast. We're gonna hit the road. Heading up to Route 66 today. So in case you didn't know, breakfast is hands down my favorite meal of the day. In fact, I cherish the mornings that I get a wonderful breakfast. Well, out here in Sedona, I hear there's a place called the Coffee Pot that has some really good corned beef hash. Well, that is my go-to breakfast, so I gotta check this place out. Breakfast was delicious. Corned beef hash and eggs with a side of sausage gravy. Oh, it's delicious. Now it's time we gotta get back on the road. Probably uh, there's a good chance we might shift gears and just go to Flagstaff today where it's nice and cool and just kind of chase cold weather today. If we do that, then that means tomorrow we're going to be Route 66 and we're going to hit Seligman down to Oatman. And then that means on Monday we're going to go from wherever we stay tomorrow night over to Los Angeles where we're going to see Wren. And then we're going to start making that trek back home, back to, back to Houston. So, all right, got to get in the car, make it happen. So long, coffee pot. So long, Sedona. Let's get up to Flagstaff, get ourselves to a Planet Fitness, catch a shower, get the car washed, and just enjoy some cooler temperatures. I think we're probably just gonna do that for the day. Why push it? All right, so I'm gonna put the phone down. I'm gonna drive. I'll catch y'all on Flagstaff. Sedona, you were an amazing stop, and I am so blessed that I had the opportunity to spend some time with you. I'm completely refreshed, and at this point in time, I was ready for the next chapter of this road trip. Back to the open road, and ready to hit historic Route 66. Driving through Coconino National Forest was an extremely surreal experience. Truly one of the most beautiful drives that I've ever made in my life. The Coconino National Forest consists of nearly 2 million acres and it surrounds Flagstaff, Arizona and its vicinity. Originally established in 1898 as the San Francisco Mountains National Forest Reserve, this area was designated by the U.S. National Forest in 1908 when the San Francisco National Forest Monument was merged with lands from other surrounding forest reserves. That was one of the most magnificent drives I ever took in my life. Unbelievable. I mean, it was like the ultimate valley cruise. You know, growing up in Cleveland, we used to always just love going down into the metro parks and taking a valley cruise, because it's beautiful. But this is like a hundred times that. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you're just cutting through some of the most gorgeous canyons with red rocks and just multicolored layer of rocks cooler the temperatures get the higher up you go I mean I think we went from about 3,000 feet right now we're at about 7,000 feet and we just wound around on these roads I mean I, you just saw it. it it's amazing we stopped off because I saw a scenic overlook so we're just gonna go check that out but it looks like there's some kind of like market days going on right over here too so we're just gonna check that out and then get back in the car and head back up to Flagstaff The elevation in the forest ranges anywhere from 2,600 feet in the southern part of the forest near the Verde River to 12,600 feet at the summit at Humphreys Peak, the highest point in the state of Arizona. A good chunk of the forest is a high altitude plateau with an average elevation of roughly 7,000 feet.
So this drive through the Coconino National Forest, like I said, it's, it's just absolutely unreal. The drive alone to see the National Forest that leads into one of the most picturesque downtowns I've ever seen in my life. It's worth the trip out here. I would, I would highly recommend you get your butts out here and check this out and see it for yourself because it's, it's like nothing else you'll ever see. Now we get back in the car and we roll. in this part because this is right before the entrance but as long as you go inside so it might cost like seven bucks oh, yeah seven bucks to stay in a beautiful park like this where it's gonna be 55 degrees at night yeah as i'm walking in to check out the rules i noticed that they have what's called picking in the pines a bluegrass and acoustic music festival i mean check this out You know, living out of BA for over a week, it's good to air them out, throw a little Febreze in the mix, you know, armor all the doors and all the, you know, just give them a, a refreshing. While I'm in Flagstaff, I'm hoping to find a car wash, a Planet Fitness, a place to grab a bite to eat later. I'm gonna stay here in Flagstaff tonight. We're gonna get up super early and we're gonna drive out to Seligno, which is only about an hour away. So. We'll try to get out there about 7 a.m. and we're gonna tackle Route 66 tomorrow. And that's gonna be the next video, but we're not going anywhere yet today. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hang out in Flagstaff a little bit, and we're just gonna have a regular day. And I'm just gonna kind of take you with me on a regular day when you're on the road like this. Yeah. All right, made it over here to Planet Fitness. Check this out. All it is is camper vans everywhere. If you're living the nomadic lifestyle, whether full-time or part-time like myself, having a membership to Planet Fitness is like gold. They're all over the place. They're open 24 hours. You can get a great workout and you can get a shower and freshen up. Heck, they even have a lounge where you can get work done and use their Wi-Fi. Even spend some time in a relaxing massage chair all for just $22 a month. All right, VA's all washed up, inside and out. He is feeling good. But check this out. We are on Route 66 in Flagstaff, Arizona. And there are still Howard Johnson Inns left in this country. And they reside on Route 66. How appropriate is that? Howard Johnson is as Americana as you get. And your backdrop is this lovely setting where it looks like it's going to rain, even though I just washed BA. But BA needed that bath anyway. So the double dose ain't going to hurt them. Dressed like a bum right now because I just, uh, prior to washing BA, I went over to Planet Fitness. We got a workout in, got a shower, and just a quick change of comfortable clothes. But we're going to hang here in Flagstaff for the day because we're at 7,000 feet altitude. Temperatures are cool. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to go all Route 66 till we get to Barstow. And then thinking about maybe getting a trailer in the desert somewhere where we can kind of have home base it's a two hour drive to LA so I could drive in Monday see Ren and when he's ready to be done or we finish having dinner I just drive back and that way I could keep all my stuff that's on BA away from Los Angeles because that's one thing I, I don't want to have all my gear out for just anyone to take I mean granted I got it tied down really good and locked down 
but people get creative. That's a Howard Johnson's right there, y'all. You know what that means. It means hit that subscribe button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. So we're just rolling into downtown Flagstaff off of Route 66, and it's pretty cool. So we're gonna hang out here, and we're gonna check this place out a little bit. Some of Hollywood's most iconic films of all time have used Flagstaff as a filming location. Partially due to its lush green mountainous terrain, now it's mostly due to the legendary stretch of Route 66 that runs straight through downtown Flagstaff. Movies such as the iconic Easy Rider, the original Vacation with Chevy Chase, even the famous hotel scene in Casablanca. The list of films is so incredible that it also includes one of my favorite movies of all time, Forrest Gump. Personally, I say that's Tom Hanks' greatest movie. And yes, parts of it were filmed in Flagstaff, Arizona. And here's an interesting fact about Flagstaff. Despite the fact that it's located in Arizona, Flagstaff averages roughly 110 inches of snow every year, making Flagstaff one of the most popular winter destinations in all of the Southwest. And what do you know? I'm in Flagstaff and I find me a guitar shop. And one that's so damn cool, it actually reminds me of one of my favorite places on earth, Fuller's Guitar. It's just a beautiful day out here. It's like 75 degrees, no humidity, it's just perfect. It rained a little bit, but not even hard. Got BA clean. And just checking out how Flagstaff is. Just a funky little town, man. Just a really cool place. I found a place called Salsa Brava, which has been featured on Diners, Drivers, and Dives. And the prices are great. Food looks good. We're gonna give some Arizona Mexican food a whirl. Let's go do this. And at this point of the video, I need to give a shout out to my boy Reggie, Reggie Hool. Salsa Brava has the best elotes, AKA street corn that I've ever had. So Reggie, this street corn's for you, my brother. Yo, this elotes looks amazing. We're just gonna kinda smash stuff down on it. We're just gonna take a bite. Taste. I'm telling you, that's the stuff. The nachos bravia. Someone with an appetizer for dinner. Why I did that is because it comes with the roasted pork on there, and I bet you it's gonna be killer. Gooey cheesiness. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all that. Look at that pork. You know, they just play off each other. That, my friends, is why I ordered the nachos with the roasted pork. Because I knew that shit was gonna be good. Dang. Ugh. Drizzle with the crema, this pineapple habanero salsa. Mm. And if you wanna kick one up a notch, 
take some of that elote street corn. Route 66, y'all. Flagstaff, Arizona. Salsa Brava. There's no wonder why it was on diners driving some dives. Guy Fieldy knows what he's talking about when he came here. And this is some really, really, really on point Mexican food. Dang. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. And I'll catch up to you later. When it came out, you saw a lot of cheese. You didn't really see all the carnitas. You saw a little bit here and there. That stuff was just hiding underneath because it is loaded. It had to be loaded with about a pound of carnitas. So the carnitas and the nachos bravia. $10.99, I would say that's a steal. And I did mix the rest of the elotes in with that because it just blends perfectly. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man, Route 66 has some cool stuff and it has some great food. I've been lucky this whole trip. I found some real true gems. But get out to Flagstaff, man. Flagstaff is a cool town. Real funky, old school Route 66 and a lot of cool places up and down the streets and then in downtown. Yeah, get out of here, man. It's really awesome. This meal's been so good. And when a meal's that good, you should always close it out with dessert. So we went with the Mexican chocolate mousse. Because A, I love Mexican chocolate. It's got that hint of cinnamon to it. And it just really accentuates all the flavors. So let's see. So it's super cold, super thick. Look at that. That is out of this world. Yeah, for real. Y'all need to make your way out here to Flagstaff. I mean, just Arizona in general. Phoenix, Flagstaff, Winslow, Sedona, the Coconino National Forest, Prescott. We've driven through some of the most, just some of the most magnificent places. And with all that driving, a little Mexican chocolate mousse is a good way to cap it all off. Hey guys, the Eddie man. Thank you for sharing that one with the world. This place is special. Cracker Barrel parking lot is hopping. All right, good morning, y'all. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end this video for today. And then uh, in the next video, you'll see us rolling through uh, some of the really old legendary parts of Route 66 and heading out to California. We're gonna be staying in Barstow. I uh, have a really cool Airbnb that we're going to use for kind of a home base in California for two nights. So we'll be uh, doing an Airstream trailer, which is really cool. I'm super excited about that. I'm even more excited to get to go and see Ren. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I got to see my son. And I'm looking forward, man. This kid's doing some big things, so I'm excited. So remember, hit that subscribe button. It's going to help me out. And we'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace, y'all. But I am gonna close this video out by showing you just how crazy packed this particular Cracker Barrel and Flagstaff gets. And then there's my spot, which was my home for last night. Great little spot. All right, time to get on the road. Flagstaff, the pleasure was all mine. The 50 degrees I got to sleep in last night just felt so amazing that I'm refreshed and I'm ready to hit the rest of Route 66. And I can't wait to get back here. So thank you for taking this ride with me. And stick with me, because the best is yet to come.